Right, hey boys and girls, so if you're here for the woodwork, then I'm afraid you might as well leave now. But if you're here to see me, then I'm talking about a load of other different things, so be sure to stick around. So, like yesterday was a bit of an interesting day. Um, there was, it seems that England has been thrown back into the depths of winter. We got a whole load of snow yesterday, which made matters quite interesting, really. Yesterday I had an exam, so I had to drive into college, and for the first time I've actually driven in the snow, and that was actually quite an interesting experience. I'm not sure. I would really want to be doing loads of it, but as a first time thing, it was kind of interesting. <laughs> so yes, here in England, we're back into winter. Temperatures were kind of going up again in about uh, early January. So for them to go back to where it's not really above freezing has been quite a dramatic change. And of course means it's quite cold here in the workshop. But I don't think I really want to be complaining about the workshop temperature yet again. I've actually, I seem to be complaining about it quite a bit. But to be honest, it's so much nicer in here than my old workshop that I really have no business to be complaining, of course. So as for yesterday's exam, it wasn't really snowing when I left yesterday morning, which was really what I was hoping for because I needed to sit that exam. I didn't want to have to resit it later on in the year. They don't postpone exams if there's snow, you just don't get to sit it. So I really had to go in yesterday, but quite a bit of snow had fallen by the time I got out of the exam hall and I didn't really want to wait around any longer. So I got in the car and I headed home. So actually it turned out to be quite a short day. I just thought I'd clarify that college is not, of course, the same thing in um, England and the UK as in America college is not university as it is in America. College is between the ages of 16 and 18. And so I just thought I'd clarify that for you Americans out there who a lot of the time's like, wait, this guy's at college? Uh, anyway, sorry about that really bad American accent, um, but you get the point. So yesterday, after the short day, I came home and I thought it would be a good opportunity to take out my camera and do a little bit of photography, some quite nice scenes going on quite close to home. So I thought I'd take a few snaps and that is what I'm showing you at the moment. So on another note, I thought I would tell you a little anecdote about my new microphone. Um, I got a USB microphone for doing the voiceovers for my videos. And interestingly enough, or stupidly enough, I suppose, is another way of looking at it. <laughs> I've had this thing, this microphone plugged in. It's a um, Snowball Ice microphone, which is sort of a reasonably priced USB microphone, a condenser microphone, which is be has been pretty good for doing the voiceovers. But as I said, stupidly enough, I've had this <laughs> runny thing plugged in um, for the last couple of videos, and it turns out I've been recording the audio using my laptop. The laptop was set as the primary recording device and so when I had the microphone plugged in it wasn't recording the microphone which I bought for exactly that purpose so needless to say I felt a bit stupid after that but the audio which I did on the letter opener was with the new microphone and I think it is significantly better than the audio has been so I hope you notice the improvement if not I think at least I know that there's an improvement with that the audio level is better and the there's not quite as much popping and sort of uh, background noise which I used to get so there we go so really that was all I had for you today uh, to be honest I got a bit excited when there was um, the snow yesterday so I thought I would just show you 
that uh, really, to be honest, in the south of England, we just don't get much snow. We've had more in the last couple of years, perhaps, because of climate change, but it so is kind of quite exciting, even for me at 17. So my next video blog, of course, will be ta me taking a look at the new table saw, which a lot of you guys have been asking and waiting for. So hopefully I'll get that out for you pretty soon, but it may help out you guys who live in the UK. And as you probably know, there's not loads of options in, in terms of um, pricing wise and just availability of good sort of woodworking quality table saws so hopefully that'll help some of you guys out right that's about it i'm afraid i'll see you in the next video blog bye bye